Hi, I'm Luke Cotino. I practice in the field of holistic nutrition and integrative and lifestyle medicine. Hi, I'm Saurabh. I'm a fitness professional. Hi, I'm Shivoham, a fitness professional. Catch me on the cover of Hindustan Times Brunch this week. Catch me on the cover of Hindustan Times Brunch this week. Catch me on the cover of Hindustan Times Brunch this week. To keep it simple, to understand that your mind is your most powerful drug. It all starts off in your mind and then moves to the physical self. So we teach people, no matter how complicated your disease may be or your problem may be, keep it simple. There are fundamentals that the human body works on. Start off with those fundamentals, get them right, and then add consistency and discipline. The advice I think is valuable, or the advice I've given people is, is to look at this as a lifestyle, um, to make a lifestyle change uh, rather than a short-term fix and stop worrying about weight, stop worrying about numbers, just focus on getting 1% or a little better every single day. Firstly, you got to understand that fitness is not about a quick fix. Fitness is a lifestyle. It needs to be made a part of your daily routine. Only then can you start seeing results and you can start seeing goals. So when you go to a gym or when you take a new program up or a new diet, Make sure that you try to incorporate it in your lifestyle and make it a part of your lifestyle by creating a habit because that's how you will be fit and that's the only way to do it. I think too many people out there are trying to chase happiness and the more you try to chase it, the more elusive it becomes. What you need to now start looking for is meaning in life. When you chase meaning in life, in relationships, your health, at your workplace, in your business, when you find meaning, that automatically gives you happiness. So don't chase happiness, but start looking for meaning that you can create and that you can keep. I mean, there are so many myths out there. There, there is, um, you know, that women shouldn't lift weight or um, cardio is your answer to everything in life. All of these myths, I mean, diets, for example, all of these are myths. I think you need to kind of find the balance. You need to live a good life, you need to kind of train, uh, and I don't only mean cardio, I mean a lot of weight training, a lot of mixed kind of forms of training, and, and follow a certain lifestyle pattern, and uh, don't kind of fall for, for short term fixes, kind of work on a lifestyle. The biggest myth that I've had to deal with and also accept for myself is that fitness is not just about a good clean diet, fitness is not just about a training program. Fitness has to start in the mind. Doesn't matter how many marathons you run or how many six packs you have or how many kilos you can lift off the ground. If you can't sleep at night and you cannot deal with situations in your daily routine, then I would say you're not fit at all. be sleeping well at night that's number one number two staying within the prescribed body weight and number three building a strong body with lean muscle tough one I'd rate uh, two and three as, as number one but I'd say sleeping well at night um, building muscle and uh, last and in my book way down the line is staying within certain weight limits so in, in my order I would say getting a good night's sleep is your number one priority after that, definitely having a good training program and good muscle on your body is number two. And the third one is being in a prescribed body weight because body weight can vary from person to person depending on the weight of their bone structure, depending on the weight of the muscles. So that is my, that is my order. So you can make these diets into fat diets by doing it the wrong way by putting yourself into an extreme box, by doing these diets if they're not required for you to do them. Vegan, keto, intermittent diets, these are great if you do it the right way, you do it smartly, and if you need to do it. You don't do it because the whole world is doing it. You do it because your unique body requires that kind of a lifestyle and that kind of a diet. And then it's getting the science behind it right and implementing it with consistency. A lot of people start these fad diets for a week, they don't get results, and then they jump on to the next one. At the same time, every diet will have pros and cons. So while some diets will lead to certain deficiencies, you've got to make sure that you supplement those deficiencies. So it comes down to doing the diets in a smart way and the right way. They all have their place. I'm not a fan of it. I've never been a fan of fads. I've never been a fan of, of diets, of, of going a particular way. I think you need to find a balance in life. 
and uh, when you find that balance, kind of stick with it. Um, look at it as a long-term thing. Don't look at it as a short-term fix. And uh, see what works for you. I, I necessarily would never kind of follow any particular diet. So let's talk a little bit about diets. When it comes to diets, I tell everyone that every single person is completely unique. What suits one person is not necessarily going to suit another person. But what works for you is something that you have to be aware of and you have to try. Whether it's the keto diet, whether it's a low carb diet, whether it's the vegan diet, you are entitled to do what you like and what works for you. But again, when it comes to diet, please make sure that you somewhere have a balanced diet. Taking out one macronutrient completely from your diet, taking it out is not going to work for your system as a whole. So being at a balanced diet where you have the right amount of protein, carbs and fat works ideally. Of course, you can keep changing them every now and then to suit your goals. But a balanced diet is what I ideally prescribe to everybody. I would have two. Number one is your mental and emotional health. Invest in that, look after it. Try to get negativity out of your system or when it comes into your system, try to diffuse it because a happy mind is a healthy body. And the second one would be sleep. Invest in your sleep because sleep is medicine. I mean, like I said, um, fitness is a journey. Uh, it's a lifestyle. You've got to, you've got to kind of, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. That's the best way I can put it. Uh, so work on it day in day out, there will be bad days, there will be good days, there will be days when you don't want to train and that's fine, don't be hard on yourself. Um, enjoy the process, enjoy kind of the feeling of, of being fit in that sense and really don't look at short term fixes ever. When it comes to being fit, like I said earlier, mental fitness or the mind plays a very important role. When it comes to exercise and when it comes to diet today, because of social media, there's so much confusion going on that you don't know which program to choose or which diet to follow. To make life simple, because that is the key, what you want to do is firstly just be active. Whether it's yoga, whether it's CrossFit, whether it's weight training or whether it's just walking on the beach with your dog while you're listening to your favorite music. It can be anything, just be active. And again, when it comes to diet, Keep a good balanced diet, eat clean, try to keep a consistent routine every single day when it comes to your food is number one priority. And of course, when the mind is at ease and the mind is balanced, your life will automatically come into harmony.